What a beautiful Sunday morning here in New Jersey, huh, ladies and gentlemen? If you have been watching the YouTube videos pretty diligently here on the channel, well, then you know that we are actually approaching, right, 100 species of fish caught on hook and line for the year of 2022. That is right. That is actually the purple number that I tend to live up there in the video every time a new species for the year <clears throat> kind of shows up, right? So, that being said, I don't know how many different species of fish you have caught this year, but let me tell you, for the average angler, okay, it is actually pretty hard, you know, to get to 100, in particular in the middle of the year, right? I mean, in 42 episodes here on the YouTube channel for the year of 2022, meaning 42 videos that I've released on the channel, we are almost a triple digits. So, you know, that is the main objective of today, right? We're not going to hit 100 in this video, but we're going to pursue a very, very specific invasive species of fish to the state of New Jersey so that we can bump that number up to 99. That's right. Do you actually have any clue, huh, as to which species we may be pursuing today? Well, let me get my setup done over here and I'm gonna show you hopefully soon enough the beauty of it. Let me give you all some tips and hints as to which particular species of fish we're going to be pursuing today out here in New Jersey. Well, like I mentioned just now in the intro, this is a species that is invasive to the state of New Jersey. Hint number two that should be very apparent to you all is that this particular species of fish loves to eat little fish, right? And you all can't really see it too well, but I picked this particular spot, right? Because there are plenty of tiny fish swimming right around here. You see these right over here, right? Those are actually eastern mosquito fish, aka the Gambusia holbrooki. And number three, this species in particular really likes areas like this, okay? Cover like that and this structure like little platforms like this right so that is pretty much going to be the game plan of the day okay go to areas like this and pretty much just jig the epf swim or some other type of minnow imitation until we actually find it why are the spatter dogs dying over here that's the first that's okay why are the spatter dogs dying? What are they doing to this lake? Everything is actually so different than last time when I was here. The only thing that didn't really change though is that there's still a very healthy population of eastern mosquito fish. That didn't change, but goodness gracious, why are the spatter dogs dying? Something wrong with the water or something? Is that what I think it is? Not exactly my target species, but... Oh my lord, they hit it. Dude, it hit the EPF swim, bro. Got him. Oh, wrong species, boy. <laughs> wrong species. It is an invasive, too, in New Jersey. Don't take me wrong. It's a snakehead, right? Gonna wet my hands here real quick. Well, actually, I'm probably gonna take that one with me, but I'm gonna wet it regardless. Little northern snakehead. Look at that baby snakehead. Thanks. I just saw the shadow right next to the weed. So I thought to myself, maybe it is the fish that I really want, right? Nah, just a little Chana Argus. <laughs> you can't make this up. I mean, it's our first fish of the day. This is actually spot number six of today, all right? So between the last sketch on this YouTube video, right? And now I have hopped to five different areas until I finally hit 
this little area with vegetation, right? Because I thought to myself, maybe our target species is going to be there. Guess what? We ended up with an invasive species, right? To New Jersey, but not the right one. <laughs> I mean, you, you really can't make that up, right? So right here, we have a very, very tiny juvenile northern snakehead, okay? The AKA, the Shana Argus invasive to the state of New Jersey and they actually have a law here that says that you must kill any invasives right that you catch in the state so I kind of thought to myself hey you know what I'm gonna save the sample right do a little necropsy back at home to see what is in its stomach I meanwhile I'm just gonna shoot the video and kind of let people know a little bit more about this particular type of fish right a fish that somehow people in this country really i mean don't take me wrong okay i'm a life lister and i am a scientist i really have no idea how people are not able to differentiate the native bullfin the amia calva okay especially with that dot there at the tail right with this particular species of fish okay the northern snakehead aka the shana argus i mean look at it right look at the photo of the bullfin once again in this video okay the amia calva and its features right and its colors and look at the sample that we have right over here and you tell me okay how this looks like that right the only similarity that i can see is that both of them have torpedo like bodies i mean this is mind-blowing but anyways yeah i'm gonna save the sample uh, go back to fishing this is still not our species number 99 i don't remember but this year I've caught the northern snake head already. Same game plan, all right? Hit some more vegetation and platforms until what we're show what we're looking for kind of shows up. Okay. Let's give it a try it around here. Yes. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking juicy. Oh yeah, this is looking juicy. This may just be where we're going to find it. A piece of log over here too, but the water around it does look shallow. See how deep it is here. Mm, okay, I see. You never know. Sometimes they like to stay right next to the platform, son. Oh, oh, folks, I had a hit of what may just have been our target species bro what is going on here it's like a tiny fish it's a tiny fish right under here but is it too small like what exactly is going on got him is it our species target species yes Yes! 99! 99! Yes! Warmouth! What did I tell you all, huh? What did I tell you? I told you that they like this type of environment, huh? The little platform right over here. Check that out, huh? That's the area that they like. Although, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. When I started this video today, you know, I thought it was going to be a piece of cake, right? Just come out here, cast a line around the platform, catch it real quick. Hey, 99! Man, all this is snake heads left and right. Wrong invasive out there. Well, that being said, this is a species that a lot of people don't know that it is actually invasive to the state of New Jersey, right? People care so much about the northern snake head, the Shana Argus, that they tend to forget that there are other invasive species of fish in the state. This one in particular is one that is very common down in Florida, for example, but up here it is extremely rare. And I tell you what, this sample in particular is not even that beautiful of a sample, right? It is actually, I mean, the colors on this one are okay, but check it out, huh? We got here our number 99 of this year the war mouth okay the lepomis gulosus and you kind of know about this particular species right you can differentiate it from all others by the red 
that it has on the soft dorsal, the anal and the caudal fin. Big mouth over there too. Well, it is a shame, but I won't really be able to release this fella. Like I said, rules and regulations in the state of New Jersey, right? It is really the word must versus should. So I'm gonna save this little guy as bait at the end of the day. 99, huh? One to go for triple digits. There we go. There we have it. Now that's a nice sample right here. Yes, sir. Platform. What did I tell you all? Platforms, man. Well, since we already got one warm mouth in our bag for bait, I kind of decided to come out here and target a few more, right? So I can have some cut, good cut bait for a future catfishing video. But this right here, my friends, this is a good sample. You see that? This is a very nice warm mouth sample. Look at the black, I mean the red dot right here, right? At the soft dorsal, the colors on this fish. Fascinating, isn't it? Invasive to the state of New Jersey and most of the state of PA. Just native to the west side of it. Look at that. Yeah, super aggressive too. One fish per platform. Oh, had a hit. Oh, I missed it. Ay, uh, chotomate, brother. Come on, man. Oh, dang, I had a hit as soon as it hit the water, man. Pretty aggressive, too. Wow, there's a school of fish like right in front here. I wonder, are they just, uh, are they just bluegill? Or are they crappie? Yeah, I was just going to say that. No, that was my first black crappie of the day. Oh, easy, Leo, easy. There's a lot of people fishing around here, Leo. Shh, shh. We don't want anyone coming to the fishing spot now because we found the crappie, yeah? kind of knew that it could have been crappy because there's a big school of fat eastern mosquito fish right in front of me the gambusia holbrookie usually where you have this eastern mosquito fish in this lake there may be a school of crappie around although this crappie they do move around a lot so all right let's hope there's one more around here well, I have to say, I am uh, a little bit disappointed. I thought, you know, that the fish was going to come back. I thought that my rod's so good, make fish come, right? But no, no, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed, you know, a little, I'm a little bit sad. This was a one-time type of deal. Actually, two times, there were only two crappie in front of the spot over here and i messed up you know <laughs> i set the hook on both of them and both of them got hooked and that was it <laughs> there's nothing left oh, oh, oh wait 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 okay <laughs> maybe this was a three times type of deal uh, i don't even know if this last one was a crappie or not truth be told anyways uh i kind of changed plans as you as you all can see it right since we have already achieved our objective of 99, you know, uh, number 99, we caught the warm mouth. I kind of thought, may as well just switch plans and try to catch something that we can actually release, right? That we can actually put it back. So I've been tracking the crappie secretly, you know, tracking the crappie. And this was the best <laughs> that I could do so far, right? So will we PF catch a crappie? Before the end of the day. Come on, crappy, 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 crappy. All right, let it, let it go all the way down there. Let it go all the way there, deep. Yes, we're deep, we're deep in there. Boy, that's how I like it. All the way down. Come on, crappy, 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 crappy. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Crappy, 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 crappy. Crappy, 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 crappy. Fish it, fish it, fish it, fish it. Do I have to start making weird noises like ritual? Oh, la la. Oh, la la. Ayo. Ayo. Come on, fish. Come on.
There we go. Sir, yeah. oh no, 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 don't go down there. Easy, boy, easy. Yeah, there's your answer. Will EPF catch a crappie today, huh? <laughs> Pomoxis nigromaculatus. Check that out, huh? EPF swim, sir. Yes, sir. All right, not big, but beautiful sample. In New Jersey, they actually have to be 10 inches for you to be able to take it back home for human consumption. So this is actually the opposite of all the other ones, huh? This one, we must release it. So there we have it. Beautiful black crappie, Pomoxis nigromaculatus. All right, that is what's up. It wasn't just a three times <laughs> type of thing after all. What he did. No. Yeah, all right. We caught a bluegill. Now that we've caught a bluegill, we can call it a day, son. That's the one I was waiting for. The mighty Lepomis macrocerus. You really can't call it a day around here without catching one of these, you know? It's like it's like tradition. You come out here. You got to catch a bluegill, you dig? Fourth species of the day. Two red ear is lighter turtles right over here. And check it out, huh? This place actually changed a lot over the years. I'll tell you that. It's always a little bit nostalgic, you know, to come to these areas. Back in the days, I used to come here with Mike. Back like what, 2014, I think? that time everything was so different right i was going for my bachelor of science in physics at temple university mike was actually going for a bachelor in biology at drexel hey the dragons by the way <laughs> i was just mess but anyway, anyways we used to you know life, life was tough back then right it used to be work six days a week college life classes every day five days a week the little time that we actually had left, the little time that we had off, we used to go around fishing the different bodies of water around here. And you know, I think it was around 2014, about eight years ago that I caught my first Northern Snakehead, the Shana Argus, right around this area, right? If you look at that scale, I mean, OG fans of one rod, they know that scale, right? I actually measured the fish using his OG old scale that is no longer even in production or sold out there time flies it feels like it was yesterday we didn't really have to worry about you know youtube or anything back in the days we just came out here well i didn't have to at that time he just started his youtube channel right so yeah you know you blink your eye a few times a hard bit goes and uh, here here we are right <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put the numbers up here on the screen. We are finishing the day with four different species of fish. And we have accomplished our goal of catching the species number 99 on hook and line for 2022. I really do hope that by the next video on the YouTube channel, we will hit triple digits. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, I appreciate it. I truly hope that by watching this video, at least you learned, okay, how to differentiate a bowfin from a northern snake, please, okay, oh boy, anyways, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll see you all next time, tight lines, and take it easy.